Now Shop Goodwill has always been an amazing place to find great Lego sets, not only new, but older ones and definitely at a discounted price. Now that was kind of an insider scoop that a lot of us has been hiding for a while and unfortunately, the news kind of grabbed onto it because of a specific set that just came out. Well, I guess it's not a set, more of that it came to a rare part. Now, what happens is Lego is found and donated all over the country to Goodwills and not only, sometimes they sell them in stores, but a lot of times they sell it online because it's like an eBay where you can bid on it. And so a lot of these pieces and things can go up in price or they can be lower in price. So this one was a 14 karat gold Bionicle mask, very rare. Not a lot of places found it. Somebody donated it. Maybe they didn't know about it or they just uh, like somebody had passed away and they had donated the rest of their stuff. And uh, if it, it's, it's going to go up. And it actually ended uh, just this other day at $18,000. We had one I, I think I talked about on eBay that was at $33,000. So it's just an insane amount of money. Somebody purchased it. We'll see uh, who actually did. Maybe they'll post it online, but good for them. You can totally cast one yourself if you want, if you have that amount of gold, but uh, it is really cool and part of a Bionicle history if you just love Bionicle. So congratulations to them and hopefully we'll see more and more sets like this just appear all over on eBay and resale places. Maybe you can find something cool on Facebook Marketplace. Lego has sent out a, a new teaser for the Dungeons and Dragons set. This one was in a tweet showing uh, kind of a ice cube, I'd say, or kind of a blob uh, square or block that has some minifigures in it with some shields and uh, different art pieces and uh, a Viking style minifigure that's a skeleton figure. So not really sure what the gelatin or the frozen is about, but it's definitely uh, a cool little way to tease it. I'm, I'm liking, I'm, we're likely to see it come out next week. And since the leaked images came out, it's usually within a week after that we'll see it. So I'm excited to see what they've actually done with it, how they'll continue to promote on it. Dungeons and Dragons is a big set, and especially on that anniversary. So you can check that tweet out and see the, there's little hints and different artwork pieces that are in there that might lead you to think, okay, what exactly are they doing with this and how will they continue to expand on it? Because it's not likely to be only this set. Maybe we'll get another one or two from it. There's been a few sets that have been seen in the wild already before the March 1st release. One in particular is a Formula One set, the large scale Technic set, uh, the MP4-4 uh, and Iron Senna. And that is uh, um, one of the racing cars. And then they also have the Mercedes AG1 F1, AMG F1 W14E performance pullback and the W14E performance in the Technic line. Now these are the larger sets and they have the smaller ones. And I've also seen, I at my local Kohl's, I saw the Tantive IV midi scale Star Wars ship and an Animal Crossing set. That was last week, so I think the 18th, and they're not supposed to come out till March 1st. So that's pretty early that they were released. I didn't purchase it because I want to get, you know, the VIP points and the experience of it. And, uh, but I, I might, maybe, we'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll build it online and everybody can watch, who knows. I know a lot of people have already done the reviews on it, but you know, everybody likes to do their own little spin. So that's, uh, if you go out in your local Walmart, Kohl's apparently, and some of the other places you can find these uh, sets, go out and buy them if you want early. The store might not let you, but who knows, they're the ones that made the mistake. The Lego house is going to be releasing its next exclusive set. Now we're not exactly sure why, or not why, but what it's gonna be. And the head designer over there, Stuart, is teasing it a little bit. He's done two teasing videos so far where he's walking around the Lego house store and picking up the uh, different color blocks that are in the floor, I guess. One was a yellow, Duplo piece, and then one was a red one by two or two by four brick, which is the classic one that you can actually get at the Lego house. So we're, I have no idea what they're gonna do. Are they making it a Duplo set, which could be interesting since 
They've done mostly brick builds. They haven't done a Technic one yet. And you know, the three dinosaurs are Technic, regular brick and Duplo. So this is definitely something we're gonna see uh, coming up soon, expected to release on March 1st. And uh, always calling back to the heritage of either the Lego house or the traditions found in the Lego system itself. Very, very interesting, looking forward to that. I love the Lego house sets. It's unfortunate that you can only get them at the Lego house, but if you're there, totally should get them. If not, you'll probably can get them on the secondhand market, just at a little higher price. Lego Fortnite has released their latest update, update 28.3. This one adds a specifically for fishing. You get a fishing rod, sand, glass, compost, uh, compost, compass, uh, and a, a definitely a couple other things. Uh, as we saw before, we got the launch pads. Now we got the hunt and we got the hunting dagger. In this one, we're gonna get different fishing rods, as I said. So you got the common, uncommon, rare, epic fishing rods and different colors. You're gonna get different, of course, fish that you can hunt. Uh, so Slurpee jellyfish, uh, the blue slurp fish. So slurp, I'm guessing, is a big thing. Compass, and then a bait bucket. So you're expanding and making your world. Now you can have the opportunity to fish and add that to your uh, diet, since that's, uh, that's good meat and lean for a healthy minifigure in the Fortnite world. This past Thursday, Elk City in Oklahoma decided that they would have Lego Day at their library. So at the Carnegie Library, they had their second and third, excuse me, and second and fourth Thursday of this month, they were doing Lego Day, where you can go and build and have a great time bonding with your family and having these fun little activities you can build with Lego. Now it's only a few hours, but it definitely is a fun way to get the kids out, go to the library, maybe pick up a book, and I. I know a lot of people still have library cards. I don't know if I still do, but a Lego event there is great. We usually host our lug meetings at a library because it's a free place to do so. And having these events like that just is a fun way to keep building. Now, who doesn't like building Lego and having a glass of beer or wine? I mean, it just sounds like a fun party and that's exactly what it's supposed to be. It's a Lego party at the Little Thistle Brewing Company in Rochester, Minnesota. And they're having this event on March 21st where they're gonna have a bunch of Lego sets or bricks that you can build while uh, you're drinking a beer and enjoying time with friends. And it's what to expect. They say, let's show playtime isn't just for kids. We'll provide the Lego bricks or bring your own set and provide the creative energy and imagination, the Lego party event says. So you can actually go over and uh, get your spot at the event and bring your minifigures, bring your Lego sets. Anyone in Minnesota or within the general area that wants to go definitely should. And uh, maybe you can convince your own little brewing company to do the same. Now Bricks and Minifigures is a big kind of third party Lego store. They actually opened their 100th store recently and now they've expanded and they just did a new store open in Idaho and it's in Amon and having a Lego place in Idaho apparently isn't that common. I mean, a lot of the Midwest states and Northwest states don't have a lot of things in general. So this is fun way for people to go and experience this. It's uh, a great place to buy not only new sets, but also secondhand sets, minifigures, all that. So, I mean, it's just a Lego store. I, I love these kind of stores because it gives a creative aspect for the owners to do instead of just the standard Lego sets that we see at the Lego store. Maybe they have their own events, but you can get those minifigures that you didn't get a hold onto before. And I'm guessing, uh, I actually haven't been to one personally, but I think you can probably sell your Lego sets and they can resell them. Similar to like, a, I guess not as scummy as a pawn shop, but more of an exchange style to it. So head over there. They're usually open from 10 to 7 p.m. on weekdays and on uh, Saturday and Sunday. So you can go check out these awesome stores like this, not just in, um, in, uh, in Idaho, but in other areas and places around the world or excuse me, around the country, because there's over a hundred of them. Lego Ideas Polaroid Contest has officially come to an end, and the winners have been announced. We have some great pictures. One top prize went to Marino's Bricks, 
were the Seaside Walk, where it had the Polaroid picture holding it up, where it's got a little lighthouse, a minifigure, uh, and a um, post, and of course seagulls in the background. But what is, uh, I think the reason that they won is it's a minifigure hand holding it up against the actual larger scale version. So it's got a large scale minifigure with the ocean and the lighthouse and all that. The second one, I think personally, is one of is the coolest one. Uh, first runner up is by a count, um, count Stout, Stout Snout Burr's Making a Splash, it's called. And it's a humpback whale jumping out of the picture, making uh, a splash on its back. And the water's kind of overflowing the picture frame. Really cool. And the detailing that they used where they actually used the, a curvy um, plant piece or like fern piece to it, all in the... Uh, sand blue I believe it is and uh, that's awesome I love that they've done these kind of designs and the second runner-up was the Kyoto Garden which is actually the only Polaroid I've seen where they lay it flat on the side and uh, horizontally with the tiny um, uh, pagoda or ta um, temple upright with a couple of the trees using flowers to make it look like the cherry blossoms and a little bridge to it. So congratulations to those winners. Lego Ideas always has more and more contests and this one was really great. I actually thought somebody else was going to win a few of them because he did an amazing job with some of the sets. Either way, hopefully we'll get those and I love when these ideas come out and hopefully the designers do come out with instructions because that's always fun for a lot of us to get the chance to build them ourselves. Now in Jupiter, Florida, there's a minor league team called the Marlins, and I've seen a couple of their games. It's really fun to go to those and enjoy not spending a lot on the major league, but still having fun at a baseball game, having hot dogs, sitting with friends, not a huge baseball guy myself. Um, but there was a, a player named um, Trevor Rogers, who was the left-hander, uh, had to find a hobby. He was actually on the injury bench this past April because he had injured his left bicep. And I don't think you can really hit a baseball if you don't have um, good strength in your arms. So he was looking for his hobby and he looked to Lego. He said, let me see if this is any fun, recalls thinking as he bought his first set. And it was awesome. This 26 year old built 11 sets during the season from uh, Bowser to the Gringotts um, bank. Of course, there's so many other sets that he could do. And he talked about as he's going through his healing process, it wasn't just about his body being healed, but his mind. So this gave him relaxation, something to do and get his thoughts in the right direction. And he says, I think just the velocity was better. The way it got to the plate was more efficient. The movement on my off speed was a lot better. Everything just felt better, just felt a lot cleaner. So as he's talking about um, the physical recovery, I think his mindset changed as well. That's awesome. It's it's supposed to be about that. Not only the creative building part, but the creativity that we can bring into the rest of our lives, making the stress less. Very cool. Definitely should do that if you feel the same way. It's a great stress reliever and helps the mind rebuild uh, in hard times. Lego Pickle Brick has been adding more and more bricks and taking some away, but if you want to go and get some of these bricks, and some of them are not just the normal bricks that you'd think, just the regular plates, bricks, tiles. This has uh, some very special ones, such as animals and minifigures. One thing I know a lot of people have been interested in is Captain Rex, because he's come with a couple of the um, sets that everyone's like, oh, it's going to be super rare, that like the... Um, Venatar class has it, but he doesn't have his pommel, which is the uh, um, paldron, excuse me, paldron, which is the cloth that goes over his shoulder. Now, if you want to get it, you can go over to Pick a Brick and it has it up for sale. And they're not very expensive, a couple cents, maybe a dollar or two, depending on what you're looking to get. The, of course, the animals are going to be more expensive, but hey, now you can fix your Rex if you want to have it on his Venatar with that. And of course, there's all other fixes they've been doing where you can actually open the cockpit um, to have the hangar bay doors open on the Venatar. Super cool. So definitely head over to Pick a Brick. You can pick that up and uh, make a better Captain Rex. 
Now to celebrate the 25th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars, we're getting, of course, a lot of good sets. One I like is the new R2-D2, which is only $100. It's a smaller version of the $240 one that we got for the Ultimate Collector Series and the one that they did like 10 years ago as the same one. I didn't get this latest one, but this looks really cool because it's still the same detail with half, over half the cost. It's definitely gonna sell out really, really fast. So if you want one, you probably need to go during launch day on March 1st. But they're also doing a, a traveling show of a large scale uh, R2-D2 at 24,000 pieces. The set itself is, excuse me, 20, 28,000 pieces. Um, it's similar, it's a full scale one-to-one -one representation of R2-D2 and it's gonna be traveling to different shows and conventions in promotion of the 25th anniversary. R2-D2 is such an iconic figure in uh, Star Wars. I think he's probably the most famous droid or android ever created and it's got some working parts to it so it spins it's got lights there's a video on youtube which i'll post in the description that you can ch go check out and enjoy having these designers build something as creative as the star wars r2d2 droid and maybe you'll get to experiences as it travels across the world to help and uh, understand that well star wars is awesome and the 25th anniversary needs to be celebrated Another thing that's coming out on March 1st is Animal Crossing. There's probably a ton of reviews you've seen online of the different sets being built. And, you know, the minifigures are by far the best part of them. The sets are okay. They're more on the play side and not as detailed as we would have expected. But, hey, they're Animal Crossing, a whole new series that LEGO has been working with on Nintendo. I love the Animal Series line, uh, video game line. And having this is just a fun way to add additional detailing and um, just enjoyment for the Nintendo partnership. So you can get these on March 1st. Some of them, like I said, have been found a little bit early and you can check out the videos and reviews online to see which one you really do like. I built a few mocks. I'm actually working on the Able Sisters uh, cottage, which I finished a while ago, but a lot of the pieces are not made in the colors that they should be. So I've just been in the process of adjusting them, but likely I'll release those instructions on March 1st. So stick around and See if you want to buy that set and uh, have your own design of uh, the Able Sisters to put with your new minifigures. Now, for all those that are on the Patreon, you're going to get this for free. Once I finish them, they'll just go right up for you to enjoy. And that's your bricking news for this week. Thank you so much for tuning into the podcast. I appreciate you watching on YouTube as well if you want to and enjoy building Lego. We're going to have a lot coming up. This was a little bit of a slow week, but as we ramp up to March, it's always going to get more and more with tons of Star Wars stuff and just it's summertime. So they put out as many sets as they can to get people interested. Well, it's summer, so not a lot of people are inside and that's when they promote sales. Anyways, we'll talk about that when we get to it. But we're going to move into our set review. This is going to be the set 40725 Cherry Blossoms. It's an A-plus set at 430 pieces. You'll get 97 VIP points for it and it's $15 does have 47 ratings at 4.5 stars. Now what it is, it's part of the smaller botanical line. Um, they've done a couple of these before where they did roses, they've done um, tulips, which that's a long time ago. They did sunflowers as well. This one is similar to what we've seen in um, just blossoms that they've done before where they use the eggshell pieces, the they use the bottom section instead of the full one, uh, two by two, or one and one on top to create the petals. And what's nice about this is it's not just the pink ones because there are white as well. And they've added both of these to two different stems that you can get, having a dark pink um, section to each one with a little bit of budding as well, which um, of course, not all of them are ever fully bloomed. I talk about this because in Washington DC and in uh, Japan, they have the cherry blossom festivals and they're absolutely beautiful. We're under cherry, uh, cherry, watch, cherry bloom watch right now and likely to get expectations or predictions of when they'll go into full bloom here in DC and we've gone every year. So these are really nice because they're just two at $15. That's a great bargain to have these sets, especially in that pinkish color and you can add maybe you want 10 of them and you can have an entire bouquet of just cherry blossoms or you can have them hung whatever you want to do and part of the botanical line which is the most popular in lego i think right now other than maybe star wars and 
Honestly, I don't know. Creator Expert is uh, a good one as well as Creator as they've done new sets. But I highly recommend it. $15 is not a big deal and you can get it towards some of the Lego um, uh, wow, gifts with purchase. So that's your Lego set review. You can purchase that in the description if you'd like and get some referral. Uh, I think there's a discount going on right now uh, and then you can help out the podcast. All right, everybody, thank you so much for listening or watching on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel as well as on this, uh, on our Instagram at Back to Brick 2 and follow the podcast. I'll leave you as I always do. Get creative, get out there, and go build something.